Hey guys, we're gonna walk through setting up an account in Go High Level. If you haven't used Go High Level, check out the link below this video because it is an incredible resource for agencies and it's gonna make your life a lot easier. And if you're trying to do lead nurturing, uh, email campaigns, cold calling, stuff like that, this takes all the headaches out of it. Um, I've got a link below, you get a free subscription to it uh, or a free trial. And I'll even include some uh, uh, free template if you end up purchasing it. But let's walk through, set up a new account and go high level. So check out this video. Hey, it's Jim here and we're in the computer. We're gonna walk through, but before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button below, hit that notification bell. And I've got a whole playlist on high level. I've got a complete lock walkthrough. And uh, what we're going to do right now is we're just going to show you the steps on setting up an account and how easy it is. I've got a new client that's coming on. And uh, so we need to set up this account. So we're just going to go into add an account. And then basically we need to look at what platform. We could do a blank um, there's all these different templates and high level just keeps adding more and more in. Now this is a particular roofing company. So let's kind of look at a, uh, a service that would be similar. They're in commercial. Uh, so it's going to be, you know, a little bit different than these home services, but I may try one of these templates and just see how it works here and see how it goes. So let's go to uh, home services. We're going to select, let's go to no more and just see what it is. It's got examples of Facebook ads, probably something that we're not going to use, but let's go down to solar because we can modify any of these however we want and it shows kind of some samples, a setup guide. So add account, find the client, da 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 da. They're all gonna be somewhat similar in the setup. We're just gonna use this particular one. It's, like I said, it's a commercial roofing company, but when you use a template, it kind of gives you a snapshot and makes sure that you don't miss any steps. So it's a good thing to do. So we're just gonna select this one. We can modify the name of it, call it whatever we want. The first thing we need to do is we need to type in the name of the company. And what will happen is it will start searching Google if they have a Google account and it'll find that particular roofing company. So it's not popping it up yet, but let's just go. I know that are, that they're in Ohio and let's just go to, and it helps if I spell roofing right, but let's go in and make, let's search Google and just make sure that this is the right company because we want to make sure that it's the company that and here's the problem here and that I notified them so it says own this business so they do not have their Google local listing set up properly and it's not set up otherwise it would actually be showing on this page and it would help that business out but uh, obviously the marketing company that they're using does not know how to do this. Um, now, does that really make sense? If they don't know how to set up a Google local listing, they probably should not be working with this company. But we're gonna go in here, we're gonna try to find their address because when you set this up, you really, need that information. So it looks like they're in Dundee, Ohio. So they've got two offices. 
So I'm guessing that when I was typing this in, this is not the company. So I don't see it here. We're just gonna add it manually. It's not a big deal. So we, we're basically gonna go in, put the client's name in here and get their information. And I, I know this stuff offhand. We're gonna put in the business name, which is WM Commercial Roofing. And it really is as simple as it looks. So we're gonna grab their address, which is this right here. We're just gonna copy it over. And we're gonna add in the city, which was Dundee. I can figure out the rest. I'll copy and paste that. And then it says country, United States. We'll just put in Ohio, put an OH. We copy and paste the zip code in here. We copy and paste the phone number in here and website. So let's go over here, drop this in. It's nice just to be able to have this information and easily populate this in here and then it just goes fast but what google will do if they're properly set up in google it's just going to automatically uh, populate that information in all these fields now i'm going to pause this video because i've got to grab his email real quick so we got his email in there we're going to hit save in the top right corner there this will save the information Let's let that go through its process and then we'll move on to the next step here. So now you got all that information set up in here and you may have a, a list of a lot of accounts in here, but now you just go up here, switch to an account and go down to WM Commercial Roofing. And now we've got everything in here. So we can set up our pipelines, our marketing, our scheduling, our reputation management, uh, funnels, website, triggers, phone calls, whatever we want, now we've got the dashboard to set this up. And so that's how easy it is uh, to get things going. And uh, you can even share the screen with your customer and they can use this as a CRM. So some really cool software. I love it. It's a great deal. Remember, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And remember the link below because you get a free trial and you get to test drive high level. So thanks for watching. And if you purchase under that link, I will give you a template on how to set up a uh, basically a, a pre set up uh, platform uh, so you can install it and get going quicker. Thanks for watching.